Writing a Personal Narrative. Episode 4, Writing a Draft. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You write about something that has happened to you. A draft is the very first version of your story. In your draft, you tell the most important events in the order that they happened. There are a few important things you should write in your draft. First, your draft should include the important things that happened that relate to the main idea of your story. If something is not interesting or important, then you don't need to write it. Your draft should also have transition words. These words help the reader understand the order in which events happened. We also use these words to link our ideas together. Some examples of these words are first, then, next, after, last, and finally. There are many more too. You should choose ones that make sense and sound the best to you. Your draft should also have details. That means you should use descriptive words and sentences that help the reader imagine your story in their mind. Anyone should be able to read your story and imagine exactly what happened. This also makes your story more interesting and fun to read. Now, I'm going to write my draft. Here's a plan I've already made for my story. I decided I would write about when my mom told me I could get a dog. We went to the store, then we chose our dog, and last we got food and toys for it on our way home. I've already written my opening. It says, have you ever felt so happy you could cry? That's how I felt last summer when my mom told me I could get a dog. I had wanted a dog for so long, I couldn't believe I was finally going to get one. Now I'm going to start writing the first page of my draft. Hmm. First, my mom came to my room to talk to me. She told me since I had gotten good grades at school, I could get a dog. I was so excited, I jumped up in the air. Did you see how I started with the transition word first? This told the reader that this was the very first thing that happened. I decided not to write that I was watching TV when my mom came in the room because that wasn't a very important part of the story. I also wrote, I was so excited I jumped up in the air so the reader could imagine just how I felt when my mom told me. Okay, now I will write my second page. I'm going to start with the tr transition word, then. Then we got in the car to drive to the store. I couldn't wait. I smiled the whole way there. When we pulled up, I saw that the store had a lot of dogs that needed to be adopted. Can you picture in your mind what happened? I hope so. Next page, hmm. When we got to the store, I looked at all of the dogs. They were all so cute. All of a sudden, one came up and licked my foot. He was white and fluffy and so adorable. I decided he was the dog for me. Now for my last page. I am going to start with the word finally to tell the reader that this is the last thing that happened. Finally, we put him in the car to take him home. He was wagging his tail and sticking his tongue out. On our way home, we stopped to get him some toys, food, and a collar. That's it. I wrote my story in order. I used transition words to connect all of my ideas. I tried to use details so you could imagine the story in your mind. And since this is just my draft, I can go back later and make it even better. Next, I will write the very last page of my story. Check out episode 5 to see how I write a closing.